Welcome to the Northwest Parkinson's Foundation, No Hope for Parkinson's. This session is Warrior One, standing. It's good for balance and strength. Let's warm up a little first. Let's step our feet back apart, maybe a little more, and let your weight shift from leg to leg as your arms flop from side to side. And let that come to stillness. And let's step back a little bit from the chair. Maybe arms length away. We're going to propel our arms forward. We're swinging them up. And let that go. And let's go from side to side. So stand, maybe make your stance a little wider. We're just let those arms go from side to side. And let that go. Ah, that's warmed up. Hey. I am, I'm in the middle of filming, sorry, it took me so long to answer it. Uh, are you around? It will be in like five more minutes. Um, sure. Okay. Oh, yay, definitely come this way. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, bye. That's really good. Welcome to the Northwest Parkinson's Foundation, Yoga for Parkinson's. This is going to be another. Welcome to the Northwest Parkinson's Foundation, Yoga for Parkinson's. This session is Warrior One. We'll warm up a little first. Let's just feet be maybe shoulder width apart and just shift your weight from side to side and let your arms swing. Nice and floppy. This is called empty coat sleeve sometimes. I like to think of it as willow branches. And let that go. Let's step back a little bit from the chair. It's still there for support, but we're going to propel our arms forward. We don't want to whack the chair. Get the shoulders warmed up. And let that go. And we're going to go from side to side. Just warming up. And let that go. Ah. The knees and ankles warmed up. Just going to bend our knees and ankles. Bend them and push away from the floor to come back out. Ah. So the standing warrior, uh, the, the standing warrior one, is similar to warrior two in that you're we have opposing stretches. You're reaching out while you're reaching down, reaching opposite directions, and they're really good for strength and balance. So you start by I start by turning sideways the long way of the mat. The chair's in front of me with the back to me. I'm going to set my feet maybe shoulder width apart. Then I'm going to turn the front foot so the toes point under the chair. I'm facing left right now, so my left foot, toes are pointing under the chair. Right foot, I'm going to pivot it until it's about at a 30 degree angle. So unlike warrior two, where your toes, right toes are facing forward. These toes are facing about 60 degrees off the left toes. So my feet are sort of like this. I'm gonna use the chair for your stance doesn't have to be very wide. You just want it wide enough to get the 
the balance on both feet so you can stand without, the you know, chairs are for, for support, but you can stand without having the death grip on the chair. Go ahead and bend that front knee. You can move your chair to adjust. You don't want your knee past your ankle. You want to, you can adjust here. Let that knee come down. And then bring it back up to so you know where it is. And we're gonna go both legs straight now. Pushing down into the mat. And you can release one hand if it feels if it feels safe. And the other if that feels safe. Oh, I'm gonna show my belly. I have to do this over. Shit. Okay. Welcome to the Northwest Parkinson's Foundation Yoga for Parkinson's. This session is Warrior One, standing version. Now let's warm up first. Let's let our feet be about shoulder width apart and shift your weight from leg to leg and let your arms be floppy. And let that go. Notice your breathing that it's regular and even. Let's go ahead and propel our arms forward. And feel that motion in your shoulders. And let that go. Let's go ahead and go from side to side. And let that go. Ah. Make the chair. Let's do some feet are hip width apart now. So we're just going to bend our ankles and knees to get the, them warmed up. And let that go. So we start by turning sideways and stepping maybe shoulder width apart. And then pivot your toes to the front foot so they're under, you're pointing under the chair. The back foot. You come up on your toes and turn your heel. So your foot's about I don't know, 60 degrees from your, so it's sort of like that. One foot's there and the other foot's coming out like that. I'm gonna stand nice and tall. Knees are straight but not locked. You should be able to just have one hand on the chair or touch down but not grip. Because we don't want we don't want to lean forward. We want to be nice and straight and tall. There's a little plumb line going down from our nose down, right down to the floor between our feet. So from here, you can hold on with one hand. If if you're comfortable just like this, that's fine. If you want to try and reach one hand and reach it up, that's fine. If you want to reach both hands up. You're reaching up, 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 and your palms are facing each other. And you can have a look up. Both knees are straight. If you want to let that right hand reach while the left is reaching up, and then they start reaching back just slightly. So notice the, the balance it takes. Push down into your feet, up through your arms. Feel that strength and stabilizing. Breathe evenly. And go ahead and let those come down. And step that foot forward. Then do some steps. The feet are still whipped, woken up. And we'll do a little stretch in between before we do the other side. Let's step one foot back. The other goes to meet it. Push away from the chair as you hinge at the hips. Hands coming down between the arms. Ankles are right below the hips. They're like a right angle. And go ahead and bring that back up. Let's do the other side. We're gonna turn, step our feet. Shoulder width apart. Be nice and tall. Turn the Forward foot, my right foot, so the toes are pointing under the chair. Left is going to go at a 60 ish degree angle. Whatever is comfortable, so your hips are pointing. So your hips are pointing forward. 
See, if I went like that, that's what I did first. But I want my hips, they're pointing over there. I want them forward. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to get myself from even on both feet if I have to step them closer or further apart. And then I'm going to try to reach one hand up. If you don't feel safe raising your hands up, then keep keep them on the chair. Reaching up, up, up. Your palms are facing each other. Reach back slightly with your arms. Pressing that back heel, the left heel down. Notice the opposing stretches reaching down through your feet and up through your fingertips. Up through the crown of your head. Nice and strong. You can battle whatever's coming at us. And then exhale down. Ah. Get the other foot forward. Let's walk them back again. Hinging at the hips. Pushing away from the chair. Reach your tailbone back. Nice. Straight back, straight legs. Take a breath in and exhale. See if you can settle into this. Half dog. And then step forward. And let that settle in. Cross your arms in front. Inhale them up. Exhale them open. Inhale, reach. Bring them down to your heart. He loves her on his peace, Phyllis, and Namaste. Come on, let's look through the whole warrior pose.